We're do joined by uh, Matthew Barling of Price Waterhouse Coopers. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, if we look at uh, this bank tax, first of all, it could have been worse, couldn't it? Uh, it's a little bit lower than many analysts were predicting. Well, good morning, Andrew. Uh, I, mean, I think that's right. I mean, I think it's been uh, certainly I think the sector was worried that, there, that it could be more significant in terms of the rate of the levy. Uh, there would also been some concern about the, whether we might uh, see something uh, like an extension of the bank payroll tax in the UK, so the bank bonus tax, which obviously caused great concern. So, uh, in fact, I think, I think we we're all expecting to see a levy. And yes, the, the rate is lower. Uh, it's lower, than, for example, than the, uh, the proposed US rate. Uh, obviously, we'll wait and see what uh, we see from France and Germany. Yes, how much more detail do we know about France and Germany? Uh, we had this announcement yesterday that, uh, by George Osborne that they were acting in concert, but do we know much about the details of their taxes? Uh, no, very limited at this point. I mean, I think as a general level, we know very little about the detail full stop, which in itself, mm -hmm. I think, uh, presents some challenges going forward. Uh, certainly the experience with the bank payroll tax just showed how difficult uh, it can be to implement this new kind of tax. Uh, and particularly here where we're talking about imposing a tax on uh, the consolidated balance sheets of UK banks. Uh, for those with overseas operations, that's going to raise some quite significant questions around uh, how we avoid issues like double taxation if we see over overseas countries also taking a lead and imposing a levy. Indeed. And uh, overseas banks that are operating in the UK, is it clear about whether or not they will be paying this levy? Uh, no, I think it is absolutely clear. It is intended that uh, UK branches of overseas banks and their UK subsidiaries will be imposed uh, the levy. Now, where does this uh, leave us with the G20 coming up? Because uh, obviously the US had come up with its own measures that aren't implemented yet, and they're, they're, they're quite different. They're actually more stringent than the measures announced yesterday yeah. by George Osborne. Yeah, I mean, I think we are facing a real prospect of an un, un, unlevel playing field going forward. We've had some, uh, some major G20 members like Canada, like Australia, uh, basically saying they don't support the idea of a levy. Uh, and obviously in the US, uh, President Obama has put forward the levy, but as you say, uh, it's question mark as to whether that is going to get through Congress. So at the moment, we are clearly taking the lead. Now, of course, it is a big uh, deal. It costs an awful lot of money to move from one banking centre to another. But do you think that if the playing field does remain uneven, that it may be that uh, institutions leave the City of London? Well, I think it's one of the things that's going to go into the mix. I mean, I think institutions, in terms of looking at where they cite their activities, will look at a whole range of issues, uh, including uh, regulatory reform, etc. So I don't think tax in and of itself will be a a reason to move, but clearly it would go into that uh, assessment. Uh, so I think in terms of, uh, there, there is an issue here about, uh, in terms of the overall, uh, I guess, climate is the way I would put it, in terms of the UK as an attractive place for financial services business. Now in terms of uh, financial, uh, apart from financial services, in terms of being an attractive place to do business, George Osborne yesterday said twice in his budget speech that Britain was open for business. Um, when you look at what he's done with the corporation tax and some other taxes as well uh, and in some incentives, do you think this was a good budget for business? Well, I mean certainly the, the corporation tax reductions uh, I think have got to be welcomed uh, and I think George Osborne has been uh, you know, vocal about his desire to attract business back to the UK. Uh, and to attract new business to the UK, but I think from, the, uh, from a financial services uh, perspective at the moment, uh, proposals like the levy, uh, I think, do bring, uh, bring that into question in terms of uh, how competitive is the UK going to be in the future as compared with some of those other territories, particularly the US, who perhaps will not choose to go down the route of the levy. So I think certainly we should be looking hard at what happens in the US. Okay, Matthew Barling of uh, Pricewaterhouse Cooper, thank you very much for joining us this morning.